Oh, hi. In this week's Friday Favorites, I'm going to talk about our TV tuner that we have for our Windows laptop. Okay, I'm going to mute it. Football is something I love. I can't go without that, especially during football season. And when we bought the Airstream, it did come with a TV, which which was on top of this little cabinet here. Uh, but we actually don't like it there. It, it, we don't use TV all that much. As I said, only really on Sunday and Monday nights during football season. So we needed another solution. Uh, the laptop can turn into our TV through the use of our TV tuner card, which is r right here. It fits into a USB slot. Um, this particular card, which we will link to in the in the description, um, is Windows only. To be honest, I prefer Mac. Uh, I, I have a couple of Mac laptops, but I found it very difficult to find a high quality, good reviewed TV tuner for the Mac. So we happen to have a Windows laptop, so that's what we ended up with. Uh, you can find them on Amazon. I think they're over $100 on, on Amazon. Like I said, the link will be below. However, um, I would not recommend you actually make the purchase there, even though it does help us out. I got this through Best Buy for 70 bucks, so you can save th uh, 30 bucks if you look for it locally, or maybe Amazon will run a sale, I don't know, but um, it was more expensive there, so just take that with a grain of salt. So the card looks like this, it's, it's plastic, um, one end is your USB, the other end is your coaxial cable, so this end just plugs into any available USB slot in your computer. Now it doesn't have to be a laptop, it could be a desktop, just any computer that you want to act as your television. And the other end, uh, like I said, is your coaxial uh, end of this card which plugs directly into your cable. So you just give it a little bit of pressure and turn and connect it just like so. There we go. So now it's all one piece and this connects to this laptop and I will show you the software. This card comes with software but I do not use it. If you have a Windows, uh, Windows machine I would recommend that you use Windows Media Center rather than the built-in software because quite frankly it's much better. So I'm going to show you that now. I'm bringing up Windows Media Center. Right now it's muted. Uh, you have a couple of different options. When you set this up it's going to go through, Windows Media Center will ask you for your location and you'll put in your zip code. Um, and then it will via the internet, so you do need, you do have to have a connection to the internet during this process. Um, it will look up your local television stations as well as the schedule, so you'll have your own little guide here. So the only thing I really do is I bring up Windows Media Center Go over here to guide, which is the second one over, and now here is your complete guide. Works just like a, a, a cable service or, or a satellite service. And you can browse through uh, your local TV listings. Now again, this is, this is just local, so you're not going to have access to ESPN and CNN and th those stations. This is all over the air uh, service. And I just look for the, the, basically the available football game on Sunday. I have found it here click enter and through your TV tuner card it will bring up the football game that's being broadcast through the local broadcast station. This is the Packers versus the Cowboys on Fox live on Sunday afternoon. And another thing I think is really cool, let's say that I'm currently watching a game and I want to see the end of it but I have to run out for some reason. Uh, through Windows Media Center you can record programming straight from your HD source. So to do that, we just go back to the main menu. Uh, you access this from the guide. You simply select the show you want and down at the bottom of the screen, there's a little record button. You click record once with the show highlighted on your guide and it will start recording automatically. Now that will take up hard drive uh, space on, on your computer, so keep that in mind. Um, be, sure, be sure you have the space available because if you are recording HD um, service, then it's going to be a pretty significant file uh, once you're done, especially if it's a whole football game. So just keep that in mind, but it's a really cool feature that's very easy to access and uh, do from uh, the guide within Windows Media Center.
So a couple questions you might have. First, can you change the zip code? Well, yes. Um, through Windows Media Center, you go down to Tasks, then Settings, then TV, and then Edit TV Settings, I think. So it's in the, it's in the menu, well, the Settings menu within Windows Media Center. And you can do that as, as many times as you want. Type in any zip code. In fact, you don't even have to be in the area of, of the zip code. You just won't be able to actually receive uh, the uh, TV signal until you're, you're there. So you can do it as many times as you want, change them out wherever you happen to be. So the next concern you might have is, what if you don't have internet service? So first, I want to make it clear that the internet is only providing the guide, the, st the, the stations, the, the channels, what's on when. That, that's all the internet's doing. To actually get television service, that comes through your antenna wherever that, that happens to be. So you don't need internet in order to watch TV, but you do need internet to download the guide uh, information. So I want to make sure that uh, that's clear. So what if you don't have internet? Well, the way that I believe this works, and I have not tested this, so please do not quote me on this, uh, but the way that I believe it works is as long as you download, um, at some point have connection to the internet, download the TV listings for a particular zip code, I believe it downloads about a week. Again, I'm not sure, but that's, that's what I believe happens. So if you can at least write out the next seven days, you still have access to all the TV listings, even if you don't have the internet, but you still have TV reception, you're fine. But beyond a week, if you still don't have internet, you'll still be able to watch TV because that comes separately. Uh, you, you just won't have the updated TV listings. And I believe what happens when you go into the guide and it doesn't know what to display, it's all just going to be like TBA, to be announced or to be determined, something like that. So it won't, it won't know what's there, but you can still click through the channels and actually watch TV. Uh, you'll just have to be a little bit more proactive in terms of you know finding what you want to watch when. You just won't have the, uh, the guide there until you hook back up to uh, the internet somehow and the computer can download the updated guide listings. All right, so to wrap up, why, why do you need a TV tuner? Well, for us, we don't want to use the space to store a TV within the Airstream. We already have computers, so why not just reuse those? As long as you have a Windows computer with this particular card, we're, uh, we're fine. The TV, or the computer rather, turns into our TV. We get straight HD service because we, uh, we do have an HD antenna on top of the Airstream. So it's very high quality, it's all local, and you can even record through through the guys, so it acts kind of like a DVR. Um, I don't, to be honest, I don't know if you can pre-record or set up recordings for multiple shows at multiple times. I don't know if it's quite that advanced, um, but if you're in the guide, you can certainly select a show in the future and have it record that show then. So that's a really cool feature. And that is it for this week's Friday favorites. I'm gonna get back to watching football. I hope the Packers win because I happen to have Aaron Rodgers on my fantasy football team. So let's hope he, he does well. Um, if you liked this video, go ahead and subscribe, comment if you like, and we will see you next week with some other cool product or service that, um, that we use and happen to enjoy. Thanks much. Bye-bye.